creating and updating jurisdictions. So let's go back to Oracle eBusiness Tax and create a new jurisdiction for New Zealand. And then we can understand how to go about updating that jurisdiction. So I'm going to minimize this and then I'm going to switch to eBusiness Tax. And then I'm on the home page of eBusiness Tax. And here I'm going to expand all. And then I will move down and look for tax jurisdiction which is over here create tax jurisdiction go on the right hand side click on go to task and then here hit the button create and within that start typing so give a unique jurisdiction code as nz jurisdiction name so here let's give New Zealand as the jurisdiction name and tax regime code so choose from the regime that we have created in the previous movie so we'll say something starting with NZ is it not which is this one the last one okay and then the tax within this particular regime which is GST or general sales tax we have created and geography type so we attach the general sales tab to geography type country if you recall and we also said parent geography as country so select that one okay so automatically it's pull down the parent geography type as country and the parent geography name is New Zealand now effective from give that date and then give the geography name over here so here it will come by default it will pull from the setup that we have done it earlier which is New Zealand and then optionally you can give the collecting tax authority and reporting tax authority respectively then in the bottom you can create and associate jurisdiction tax rates if you like okay so at this time I would say I'm gonna hit the apply button and instead of adding tax at the jurisdiction level I can always go back to tax rates right here and if I go back to my presentation and look for the jurisdiction which is over here okay and look that's the tax rate and if you go on to this do we have a place for jurisdiction look at that did you see that tax jurisdiction code but now it doesn't allow us to update so the only way we have it is go back to jurisdiction which is this and hit the update button and here you create one and give the effectivity date okay look it's taken us back to the same form wherein you create the taxes so it's pretty much the same form okay so all you have to do is give the configuration owner status code choose that and tax code then hit the apply button again hit the apply to save the changes so that's how you go about attaching the tax rate to a jurisdiction now this is how we just created a new jurisdiction to update the ju jurisdiction you go back and hit this pencil icon for updating it okay so if you would like to add some more information you can simply add you would like to associate a new tax rate then you can hit the create button and then once you're done hit the apply button 
Likewise, you can go to tax accounts and enter the tax accounts associated with this jurisdiction. Then hit the apply button to save the changes. Again, hit apply, come out of this form. Thank you.